Hello everyone, how are you doing in the weather? Um, I got a, a little bit sunburnt yesterday but you know, my own fault. Gonna have to be a little bit careful when I go out in the sun now but hey, this isn't why I'm here today. Um, I got this month's birch box at the weekend and totally forgot to do a video about it. So here it is. I say birch box, sorry just close a bit of stuff down there, I say birch box but it's a birch tin this month. So from time to time they do these, um, it was either last year or the year before they did one in um, together with um, Wittards, the tea company and there was some tea bags in that one. Anyway, so it's got this cute flower design on, it's really handy, obviously a lot sturdier than an ordinary cardboard box and better for keeping stuff in afterwards. So here we go. I have already looked at it, as I say, and then I thought, oh, I should have waited and done video, but you know, here we go. So, off with the lid there, and inside this month's box the subject is a blooming lovely hence all the flowers on the box there's also a voucher for a free case of eight craft beers from the UK's number one beer club only 4.95 per postage well, that's four pounds 95 uh, for anybody that might be watching this outside the UK um, I don't really drink much in the way of beers so I probably won't be taking advantage of this offer and perfect for Father's Day well you know you can't really buy beer for your dad when he's not around anymore can you but that's life so anyway so in this month's birch box there is a Mana Kadar Bloom Mascara in Hot Pink or Cool Aqua. Now, the colour of the packaging is absolutely no indication at all whatsoever of the colour of the mascara inside. It is black mascara. I'll take this off and show you because I was wondering when I opened it as well. But there you go. Just plain black mascara. I'm not going to have hot pink lashes putting this on. Um, and I have already tried it. Uh, it's okay. Um, it was a bit blobby putting on. So as to how often I'm going to use it, I don't know. I don't tend to use mascara that often anyway. Sometimes for work, I don't go out very often. So, you know, it's not like I wear it for going out. Anyway... So it says this mascara is innovative spiral shaped wand and ultra dense fibre bristles add intense volume and length to your lashes. Can't say I noticed that. The cutting edge wand features a thin yet fluffy brush with reservoirs of mascara so you can apply the maximum amount with each stroke. This way for flake free fuller lashes. Just wait so you can see what it's like. I will put it on one eye. Okay. I think you'll be able to see it as a bit of a comparison. So, and it's okay. It's not the worst mascara I've ever had. I've just got lots of mascaras that I don't wear very often. So, and it does also recommend that you apply it this way as well, closing your eyes and doing the um, upper side of your lashes. And as you can see, it's very good to get easily blobby on your lash line. So, if I can manage to get rid of some of that and not clump my lashes together. Like I say, it's alright. It's not the worst. 
and uh, it kind of doesn't smell too bad it's got a little bit of a perfumey smell to it you know at least it's not making my eyes go funny or anything right I'll have a look what it's like as a comparison with my other eye in a little while the next thing that we have is a balance me pha clarifying mist uh, this clarifying pha mist gently exfoliates to speed away blemishes and block pores and brighten your complexion it's also packed with zinc to regulate sebum secretion and tackle shine and allantoin to soothe skin and reduce redness spray on your face or any part where blemishes are bothering you cool PHAs exfoliate resurface and promote cell renewal with a lot less irritation than alpha hydroxy acids so I've not actually opened this I haven't tried it it does smell quite nice balance me products tend to have a planty smell and this is no exception it's not too bad Let's see if I can spray a bit on my chin Slightly stingy. Chin's a little bit greasy, so hopefully it'll calm that down. And yeah, it does. It does kind of feel as though it's calming it down. Uh, what does it say about it? Direction: spritz onto cleansed skin and pat in until fully absorbed. Well, yes, my skin is clean. I did have a wash this morning. It's got a bit of a tacky feel to it, but, you know, hey-ho. Next thing we have is Absolute New York Blush Balm in Cotton Candy, which for English people is candy floss. This unique and buildable balm is your rosy glow, made simple. Both long-lasting and easy to use, the smooth creamy formula gives a fresh-looking, perfectly pink wash of colour to your cheeks in a single sweep. Swipe it directly onto the apples of your cheeks and then blend with a brush, sponge or your fingertips. Build for a more statement look. That's right, this blush doubles up as a lipstick too. So I did give this a try when I opened the box and had a nosy through it. Um, my skin was particularly flushed at that point so you couldn't really tell what it looked like it just made my pink skin look a bit pinker um it's not as bright pink today so we'll see how this goes try not to look like an aunt sally doll there we go putting it on the apple of my cheek if you want to find out where the apple of your cheeks are, if you smile, it's these fullest bits. And as soon as it says you can build the colour, let's try doing that. So you can tell ever so slightly that I've put it on. The thing is with me and blushes, because my skin is naturally quite bright anyway quite uh, quite pink sometimes looking really red and flushed even when I'm not hot um, pinks and reds just don't really seem to you can't notice I've got them on um, when I am doing a full face of makeup I um, just tend to um, put a bit of bronzing powder just underneath my cheekbones just to Add a little bit of depth. Anyway, that's enough about me. Uh, Cordially Vena Perfect Radiance Serum is the next one. And uh, this is this. This oil free serum uses powerful grape derived viniferine to promote a glowing, even complexion and mush boosting glycerin to plump and hydrate. Perfect for all skin types, the silky formula is free of irritating ingredients like parabens and sulfates to smooth a thin layer onto clean skin each morning and night. 
this summer marks 15 years since this global bestseller launched. One sells every 30 seconds, apparently. So, yeah, Cordially stuff's quite nice as well. Uh, I've not opened this one. Have a look. Hello, anything in the tube? Oh, there you go. It's uh, uh, a milky looking product. I uh, know oh, it's not for my hand before anybody says, What are you putting it on your hand for? Shouldn't you have put it straight on your face? Oh, I'm just giving it a... Oh, that smells so nice. Yes, I will start using that on my face from tonight, I think. Uh, I am using some more screen... Uh, screen care. Skin care things um, that, I, that I bought from elsewhere at the moment. But, yeah, that, that should be nice. This smells absolutely beautiful. And if I was going to buy something just for the smell, I think it'd be this. You know, accordingly I'm missing a trick here. They should make this as a fragrance. It is so nice. It's like a blend of planty greenness, but with, uh, with added flowers as well. It's really lovely. So anyway, back to the box. The next thing that we've got is Luxless Argan Oil and Marula Conditioner. Uh, that the full size has a recommended retail price of £19. Uh, this is what came in the box. And this is a 40ml tube. Um, or to uh, people that don't use mills, it's 1.35 fluid ounce for the metric people and this says that it's a restorative treatment for lackluster locks this conditioner improves manageability boosts moisture and protects from environmental damage no matter your hair type after shampooing smooth the conditioner through the ends of your hair let it sit for a few minutes then rinse clean did you know argan and marula oils are hydration heroes rich in essential nutrients and antioxidants no I can't say that I didn't know that but I do now so it's a well kind of a normal conditioner type color like that pale milky looking I suppose a bit like the, the cordially stuff that I put on my skin uh, the smell of it I'm really not sure about the smell If anything, it smells soapy. Oh, anyway, I'll give it a go at some point. Um, see if it does uh, brighten my hair. And the ends are looking pretty fried. I'm probably in dire need of a haircut to get rid of some of the very, very dead stuff. But I don't really want to lose any length of it. Yeah, these things happen. Excuse me. <coughs> so, yep, so there you go. That's the tin of stuff. And it's got this nice white packaging paper to cushion everything. Ah, let's have a look. So, sharing is caring. Want to open your monthly boxes with your bestie? Introduce her to Birch Box. If you want to uh, introduce a friend, there's a referral um, a web address down the bottom. If you want to, I don't know how well that's that, that's showing up. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's about it for this box. Um, I think I've got one or two things still to come, so I will try and remember to 
to do unboxings for those when they arrive. Uh, as I say, hope you're all well. Hope everybody's keeping safe. Uh, please make sure that you're still socially distancing. Uh, someone's birthday is not an adequate excuse to invite everybody round to your house. <coughs> um, yeah, keep safe. Uh, do your best to not come into contact with this awful, awful virus while it is still going around. So that's me going to sign off for this particular video. And I have got another one to do straight after this for something that came today. So I've waffled on for nearly 16 minutes. I'm going. Bye bye.